I like to eat it around and around in circles so I don't miss a piece of corn. I like to eat my corn like a typewriter, just go one line at a time. But how would you eat corn like this? It's a challenge we rarely face thanks to the nice, neat rows that plant biologist Rob Martinson says are the work of a gene called Ramosa 1. The Ramosa 1 gene is clearly a master gene uh, that uh, controls the shape of the corn cob. Martinson reported in the journal Nature that without the gene, corn cobs would be more like this mutant corn with long branches that look like zippers. Depending on how active the gene is, it affects cobs to varying degrees. In this half, then, we have a normal-looking ear in which the rows of corn are still in, in rows. But in this half, we have the branched ear in which the Ramosa 1 gene has been uh, inactivated. And as a result, branches grow out. Martinson found the gene by growing normal corn with a known gene he could trace and crossbred it with the mutant corn. Then he looked for the tracer in the new corn to find the mutant gene. But how did this tangle get straightened out? Martinson speculates we humans were responsible. This was a, a, a character of corn that, uh, that prehistoric peoples, prehistoric farmers, were very interested in, in having in their corn. Giving the Ramosa 1 gene thousands of years to straighten this vegetable out. I'm Julia Schulhoff.